Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are mostly quiet across the entire viewing area, not expecting anything as far as rain chance today be right around zero. And we're going to stay quiet even as we go without the rest of this week and go into this weekend. But temperatures are going to be the major concern, especially today and as we cruise into the start of Saturday. But right now, it's actually pretty quiet out there. If you have any outdoor plans, go on ahead and do it this morning. We're currently at 79 degrees here at Monroe Dew Point, right at 76. And winds are currently calm out of the south. Now up to the north, we're a bit warmer. It's currently 80 degrees right now up in Monticello. We're at 77 in Camden, 76 El Dorado. Rust is at 75. We're still in the lower 80s over in the Arkla, Texas area. Now, not tracking anything on Doppler radar. Like I said, rain chance is going to stay really right around zero for today and even tomorrow as well. But we do have our funnel system just off to the east. We're really in a warm sector as we have high pressure just down to our south and we'll be stuck really under a very warm air mass going forward into the weekend. But we do have that system just off to the northwest that could be coming in our direction by at least Sunday of next week. And the good news is we could take a break from these temperatures and get down closer to around the lower 90s with rain chance still slowly increase. But until we get there, we're going to deal with excessive heat warnings that will be in effect for today as the heat index will climb above 110 degrees. So if you have any outdoor plans, to go on ahead and get it done this morning, exercise or any outdoor working like that. Because by lunchtime, we'll be in the mid-upper 90s and we could even see some areas hit right around the triple digits, especially further down to the south of I-20. The heat index will be above 110. If you have to be outdoors, just remember to stay hydrated. Stay out of the sun the best you can. Protect yourself from it as well. Wear plenty of sunscreen. And when you take frequent breaks, be sure to take those in an AC-cooled environment and also check up on your loved ones as well and make sure their air conditioning is running properly. Now, a feature record shows the high pressure holding just down to our south. The winds will also stay out of the south. We'll see shower thunderstorms possibly pop up along that boundary layer to the east and parts of Tennessee and Alabama and Georgia. But as we progress closer to the weekend, that funnel system to the northwest will start moving closer to our direction. And as it does, rain chances will slowly increase, really starting on late Saturday going into Sunday and throughout much of next week, the funnel system will be here and possibly stall out. And we could see increased rain chances even for the 4th of July next week. Now for today, going to be all quiet. Temperatures reaching right around the triple digits. We'll see just a few lingering clouds, but other than that, expecting plenty of sunshine. And as we go overnight tonight, still going to remain mostly clear. Could have a few clouds lingering early tomorrow morning. Temperatures will stay really right around the lower 80s and hit really just the upper 70s during the overnight lows. And then as we go into tomorrow, it's going to be another hot day in the Arkham. Miss temperatures once again, upper 90s and right around triple digits. We could see more excessive heat warnings that will get issued for tomorrow afternoon. But for today, you could see about a high of 100 degrees. Heat index will be above 110 when staying out of the southwest. For tonight, it's going to be a warm night. We'll see a low about 8 degrees when staying out of the south. And for tomorrow, we can see high about 101 degrees. It's just going to stay very hot as we go into the start of this weekend. But there might be some relief on Sunday and Monday next week as we could see rain chances increase by the 4th of July. And we could start dropping down to the mid and lower 90s by the middle and latter half of next week.